Hello, this is Bern, and on today's video, I'm going to help you identify if you are in a toxic relationship. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, and heart-centered women how you can attract the man you want and enter the relationship you crave without the need for manipulation gimmicks or crazy and silly techniques. Now, uh, I have lots of conversations with women who are in the middle of a very painful relationship and many of those are toxic in nature. And a toxic relationship is one that requires for you to exit the relationship for the most part to be able to move forward with your life and get what you want, which is not just the self-worth and the identity of being someone of value, but also a man who loves you, understands you, respects you, and helps you shine more powerfully, which is there for your taking, but sometimes the price to pay is exiting something that's not serving you. The first sign you're in a toxic relationship is you feel worse about yourself when you're with him. What does that mean? That means that things are okay, things are good, you're starting to feel happy, all of a sudden you get a phone call and boom, your heart sinks or you get an interaction and you feel worse about yourself, or the level of animosity and the level of fighting and arguing makes you doubt your intelligence, makes you doubt your greatness, makes you doubt your worth. In other words, one plus one should equal two, but in this case, one plus one equals minus two. Okay, so number two, you have given up connecting with human beings you care about and you love and people who add value to your life because he doesn't like them. He judges them. He thinks they're silly or he thinks they're something other than great and starts putting pressure on you to not connect with them. Or if you do connect with them, he lets you have it, meaning he's resentful, he is rude, he is mean, he is passive aggressive to the point where the decision you often make is instead of connecting with them, not connecting with them, not because you don't want to, but because you know that the price to pay is too high and you just can't take it emotionally. Number three, your, fa your balance of good times versus bad times is off. And the intensity of good times and, ba and bad times is off. What does that mean? That means that you spend a lot of time having arguments and fights and being feeling bad about your life in relationship to the times you feel great, the times you feel empowered, the times you feel happy, radiant, and excited. And uh, if you think about it, the, the moments of extreme pain with this human being are super deep, and the moments of extreme pleasure are not as deep as the moments of deep pain. So what happens sometimes is we get addicted to a feeling of intensity, and the feeling of intensity sometimes is very dark and very bad for us, but if our brains get addicted to that feeling of soap opera drama, Sometimes it's hard to see it for what it is and you just feel like the intensity means karmic connection or the intensity means deep love when in reality it's deep attachment and deep dysfunction many times. Number four, he constantly puts you down and tugs down at you. He thinks he's smarter, he thinks he's faster, he thinks he's more accomplished, he thinks he has the final word on everything. So when you express your opinion, he disagrees with it. When you share something you want to do, he tells you why you shouldn't do it. When you want to get something for yourself, he lets you know, uh, either directly or passively, that it doesn't look good on you. So in other words, he's finding out ways to keep you down so that he has more an ability to control you, more an ability to do what he wants instead of what both of you want. And the problem with this is that it takes a toll on you. The more you connect with a human being who looks down on you, the more your view of yourself will start mirroring that of him. Number five, he consistently boasts and makes a big deal about all the little things that he does for you. You might do maybe more things than he does for you, but the few things he does for you, he's, let, he's pushing them on you constantly. He's, telling you, he's telling other people, he's reminding you, he's guilting you into doing what he wants because he's done a few things for you. And typically this feels like, I mean, you start believing that he does a lot of things for you sometimes because he's so adamant about it, when in reality he's doing some good things for you, but he's removing 
more than he's bringing to the table. And I'll touch more on that in a second. Number six, he likes to laugh and make fun of you. So he makes jokes at your expense, whether it's with his friends or just in your, I mean, there's something about bantering with each other, but when he constantly makes jokes that make you feel less than, that make you feel either less intelligent or less beautiful or less fit or less awesome. And again, it's a passive aggressive way for him to let you know that he thinks he's more than you and that he has the upper hand and that you should be so grateful that he's in your life. He might even tell you that you're so lucky to have him and that no one, a, a good one to just release him for is if the man is saying that no one can love you the way he does, that's a big freaking red flag that you should pay strong attention to put all the stops because typically that's accompanied by a lie. Uh, last one is, I mean, there's more, but here's the last one I'll share with you for right now. He has a different set of rules for himself, for his fitness, for his ethics, for his morals, for his monogamy than he does for you. And typically those rules are way more lax for him than they are for you. He judges your body much, much, har much harsher than he judges his body. He judges your income and your ability to do certain things way stronger than he's able to see that in himself. He's looking for what's wrong more than what's, what's, for what's right. He's looking for ways to let you know how you should improve instead of sharing what he's grateful for in you. Now, here's the kicker. If you recognize that one or two of this applied to you, this may be something you can work on, but if you notice that most of these things are things you're experiencing, it's time to have a really good sit down with your own self and ask yourself, what, where will this end up? If you don't create a change in the human being you're connecting with, where will you be three, five, 10 years from now? And my high recommendation for you, if you're going through this, is that you seek out help, because more likely than not, it's gonna be way faster for you to get out of a situation like this if you have support and guidance than if you try to do this on your own. It feels too overwhelming most times. Now, if you feel this is helpful, useful and insightful and you'd like to understand what is possible and how you could step into the best relationship of your life, I've created a video training for you. All you have to do is go to the first link on the description of this video, click on it, enter your name and email, and you'll be immediately taken to that free training right now. If you like this video, please, please click like, uh, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel uh, by hitting the little bell. You'll be notified of new episodes that come out. Man, if you know someone who needs this, just share it with them. You might be waking them up to a reality that helps them get on the right track. Last but not least, if you identify with my message, if you know that what I'm sharing with you is true for you, and you've been attempting to do this on your own, you've been attempting to, you've gone to therapy, you've listened to videos, you've gotten your friend's advice, and you're still stuck in a situation that's far less than you want and deserve, then I might be able to help you. Second link on the description of this video will allow you to apply to connect with me where we can have a conversation and find out if we're a good fit to work with each other so I can hold you by the hand as you navigate the murky waters of relationships. Thank you so much for connecting with me. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.